So the title of this video is uh, Stop Fearing Electrical Engineering. And I say that because there's a lot of fear mongering. There's a lot of online uh, forums where you see posts where people are like, oh my God, this is so terrible. This is like the worst thing that ever happened to me. And yes, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Engineering is very hard. It's very difficult. It's very rigorous. It's gonna require you, it's gonna be frustrating. I know this from a fact because not only have I done a bachelor's in electrical engineering, I'm do I also did a master's, I'm on my way to finishing a PhD. So I know what it's like to be in engineering school and go through the difficulty and the rigor, but I'm gonna give you a different perspective shift that's gonna hopefully turn your world upside down and make you actually enjoy how hard it is and appreciate how hard it is. And this is something actually I learned from meditation. Like if you sit down and try to meditate for even just five minutes, some people will, will be okay. They'll be able to not run away with their thoughts. They'll be able to stay present. But some people will just like their brain will just immediately go in shambles thoughts will take them left and right and these are the people that struggle the most and these are the people that think meditation is very hard but paradoxically these are the people that have the most to gain out of meditation because if you're already good at controlling your thoughts and being present and you sit down and try to get you to do a meditation exercise that meditation exercise is not going to do much for you you're already good at that stuff but if you're someone who has a really hard time controlling your thoughts and and i get, try to get you to do the meditation exercise and you do it over and over and that over time helps you be able to better control your thoughts you will gain the most out of that, even though you're the one who struggled with it the most. So even if we take the argument that electrical engineering is this very hard thing to do, and, and you find it to be very hard and it's very challenging and it's very rigorous, well, good, because you're paying for that and you're basically getting the most out of that because every little exercise you're doing, every little class you're attending, every little lecture that's giving you a bit of difficulty where it's forcing your brain to think, every time you're doing that, your brain is rewiring and it's gaining value and it's, and it's learning something and it's adapting. And that's honestly the best use of your time and your money is the whole idea is you're signing up for this degree so you can gain skills and experiences that make you better. And if engineering for you is just this like walk in the park, you walk in, you don't even have to think, you just get hundreds, you ace everything. Um, I have bad for, news for you. Like you probably wasted your money because you could have just done this on your own anyway. You didn't need the degree. You didn't need the education. And this is even assuming engineering or electrical engineering is hard. So let's even break that a little bit. Why is electrical engineering hard? Or why do people think electrical engineering is hard? And one, yes, the concepts are not very intuitive and they're a bit abstract and require you to imagine things and require you to really sit there and think. And two, the exercises are just very rigorous. Like the, if you have homework, physics, math, electrical engineering, any class, the assignments, they're not gonna be easy. They're gonna require you to sit down and think. So assuming you're interested, but you still find it hard, it's not really a problem of like hard as in you don't have what it takes or you're not smart enough. It's just a matter of sitting in and putting in enough hours or putting in enough minutes. And every time you're doing that one exercise, you're calculating, I don't know, the force exerted on a charge in an electric field, or you're calculating, I don't know, how an electromagnetic wave is interacting with a certain material or something, or you're doing a wave optics problem. Every time you're doing one of these problems and you're thinking about it deeply, and you're solving it, especially if you're getting it wrong and then figuring out why you're getting it wrong, you're rewiring your brain to be a better problem solver. And that's the best state you can be in because that obviously meant that you did not have that knowledge or skill beforehand. And now you're able to acquire it much better. And this is a perspective shift that helped me a lot because now when I tackle problems, I tell myself, okay, if the problem is gonna be very hard, that probably means I'm not familiar with it or I've not solved something similar to it. And it might take me a little time or energy than usual. And I might even need to ask a friend for help or ask a professor for help, but that's good because that's the whole point. That's the whole idea of learning. That's the whole idea of gaining a skill. So I urge you to take that mindset with you, whether you're applying or whether you're trying to solve a problem or whether you're trying to build something related to electrical engineering, is tell yourself, yes, if this is it's supposed to be hard, it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would have done it and it, we wouldn't be paid so much. And that's the whole idea of getting the engineering degrees. Just get really good at solving problems within the technical area that you're interested in. Now I will give one caveat is that like, there's two types of hard. There's I like it, but it's hard. And there's like, it's hard because I absolutely hate it. Uh, if you really don't like electrical engineering, if you like, if you think electric fields, magnetic fields, electromagnetic waves, charges, uh, circuits, electricity, Nikola Tesla, Michael Faraday, if not, none of these things make you at least interested, I'm not gonna say excited, but like at least like curious or interested. And the opposite, if, if like, if you hear these things and you completely hate them and you don't eat, you're not even curious, uh, then yes, engineering is hard because or electrical engineering is hard because you should not be in it. You, you don't like it. You probably like something else more. But if you're like who I was when I was in my, I don't know, sophomore year, and I was curious about it, I'm like, okay, how does a transistor work? What is the charge? What is an electric field? What is a magnetic field? But ah, oh, it's so hard, but I'm actually interested, but like, ah, oh, it's so hard. You are the ideal person to receive an electrical engineering degree because it means you have the interest and the curiosity 
and you have the most to gain out of the degree in terms of skills and problem solving skills, especially. And, and then the money you're spending for college is actually gonna be justified because you're learning the skill, you're rewiring the brain along the way. So I hope that gives you a bit of perspective. Um, stop fearing electrical engineering, it's fun. It's not that bad, it's it, rigorous. It's gonna require you to sit down and think. It's not a walk in the park. It's gonna require you to occasionally delete Instagram and other social media so you can regain your attention span so you can tackle longer problems. But speaking of hard and easy with an electrical engineering, I actually made a video ranking the electrical engineering classes from easiest to hardest. So you'd probably be interested in checking that out. Should be over here.